off for me, place your hands behind your back and your legs, fingers. We're going to jail. We wanted to ask some questions about some of the products. Is that okay? No. Okay. Yeah. No? No. Oh, we can't ask questions. No. Whole Foods is suing me and over 100 animal rights activists across the state of California, alleging that protests, street theater, and even simple questions inside their stores are, quote, endangering the customer's safety. But now we're fighting back, escalating the battle between the largest natural foods grocer in the nation and the vegans who are very often their best customers. The question at stake, whether the company's practices are actually humane. It all started back in 2015 when DXC, the grassroots animal rights network that I founded, exposed horrifying conditions in animal farms that the company had been marketing as humane. It was a black mark on the company's reputation and on all of animal agriculture. But despite widespread media attention questioning Whole Foods practices, the company defended its suppliers, ignored efforts to start dialogue, and refused to change. DXC activists confronted Whole Foods CEO John Mackey, but he wouldn't answer a single question. So activists undertook more investigations of a Whole Foods pig farm, a free-range chicken farm, and multiple egg farms. Over and over, we found that the company's promises to consumers cage-free, chemical-free, and humane, were simply not being met. But instead of ignoring the issue, this time, Whole Foods decided to strike back. Starting in 2018, the company, which had been acquired by Amazon in the prior year, started taking legal action against activists. They went after a teenager for sprinkling flowers on a meat counter, saying that her flowers were, quote, abusive conduct. The teenager was charged with a felony and threatened with removal from her family. Then they came after me, arresting me for, quote, threatening bodily injury, for simply asking questions inside a store. It wasn't until a video of the incident went viral and Whole Foods social media was flooded with angry customers that they dropped the charges. But it turns out the company was just biding its time for its most dramatic action, suing over 100 Jane and John Doe activists in an attempt to shut down the protests. What a coincidence, all this happens after Whole Foods joins the Amazon empire and its unlimited legal budget. But the lawsuit has backfired and some of the largest protests against Whole Foods and now Amazon have occurred since it was filed. A week long occupation of a Berkeley Whole Foods ended with 58 felony arrests at a free range chicken supplier. Hundreds locked down at a San Francisco Whole Foods as a 15 foot tall Jeff Bezos head was lifted on the roof. And the DXC actors even bypassed Jeff Bezos' multi-million dollar security team to present him a flower and ask him a question. You're the richest man in the world, Jeff. Please, why can't you help the animals? As these protests escalate, the company is trying to take the lawsuit and injunction statewide. But when we go to trial, there will be bigger questions answered. What is humane meat? If we really care about animals, should companies be killing them? And do customers have a right to know where their food is coming from? In the fight between corporate profits and transparency, this is the next frontier. And when the dust settles, our food system could change forever. Sign up to support transparency, free speech, and animal rights.